Keep you company on my first day. Look, that's your job, isn't it? I've got mine down the market. It's my day off. All right? Slimy key. <laughs> All right? I am, but will you be? <laughs> Um, I want to explain. We made a deal. I want that list tonight. I can't get it. Tonight, I'll be at the centre, seven o'clock. from where you stand belongs to me. It is my life. You like poetry, do you, Jimmy? Oh, definitely. Oh, yes, the verbal arts. We're standing here, the sky is blue. There's no one else, just me and you. I'm pleased to say you took the job. It's not hard work and you'll learn a few, Bob. <laughs> just rolls off, you know. Very good, Mr. Frobisher. No, no, call me Freddy. Here, come on, I'll show you the hat. Oh, that's the barrier. It's a nice barrier, isn't it? Very nice. Yes, it's a nice hat as well. It's yeah. very handy when it rains. Now, be my guest on the seating facility, James. You know, you wouldn't believe this to look at me, but years ago, I was just a tally clerk down on the dock. Nice job. Oh, no, not for a man of my stature. I wanted more. So when they offered me severance, I said, thank you very kindly, and I went into the fresh food trade. I bought a little van, did the market, and with the rest of the money, I bought a bit of scrap land out there. Well, that's what people see it as anyway. But not me. I got a vision. And what do you see it as? Oh, that's it. What do I see it as? Here, come on, follow me, sir. Now, what you got to imagine is a five-story building with shops and offices, and a hotel at that end, a conference center with a hall to seat 2,000 people over there, restaurants, squash courts, you name it, we'll have it. You know, I'll turn this whole area into the Venice of London. It'll be like the Coliseum all over again. <laughs> Sounds great. Great, yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I think that's what I meant. Yeah, well, I'll be straight ahead as soon as I get planning permission. Oh, well, you ain't got planning permission then? Oh, I'll get it all right, don't worry. I've already put in an order. I'll take it to the House of Lords if I have to, the highest court in the land. But until then, you're running the car park. Right. Right, and as I say, 
half the takings is yours. Only I know roughly what it comes to, so no fiddling while Rome burns, eh, son? Honest Jim, they call me, Governor. Oh, yeah, well, I'm a good judge of character. You'll make quite a bit on the side washing cars and uh, cleaning out my van every night. I'll give you a couple of quid. It all mounts up. Great. Right. <laughs> well, welcome aboard the firm. Duty calls, the soldier goes, he says farewell. He's on his toes. Hello, Alwyn. You've been waiting for Daddy, have you? Pilchard. Right then. Let's have it. Look, I've got to talk to you. I don't want that discussion. Just the list. C can't you listen to me? No. Well, I can't. I can't talk if nobody's listening. Listen to him. <laughs> right. You've got five seconds. Time's up. I, I didn't say anything. Well, don't say I'll never give you the opportunity. All right. You don't want to listen to me? <laughs> You're the one that's going to be out of pocket. Am I? Out. It's the list. It ain't. Now, don't you oh. tell me that you can't get the list or there's something wrong with it, because I've already laid out money preparing for it. And if you're thinking of upping the price, or doing it yourself, then think again. Unless, of course, you want to spend the rest of your life walking around on your knees. It's up to you. Now, what was it you were saying? Here's the list. How many names? About 500. 50 quid. Nice doing business with you, Keith. Himself, didn't he? Must have tweaked this and hurt. Um, talking of money, uh, gonna have to get us a drink. It's all working out really nicely. Even a job at the car park helps. A desk and a typewriter, so I can get Mona to address all the letters. And where you come in, is you can be washing the cars and earning some extra dodge while I'm on the barrier. They're making a fault to go and buy the stamps, right? Wrong. What do you mean? Well, you see, I've got this aversion to washing cars, especially when I'm working. You have plenty of time off. Look, it's only a means to an end. Yeah, well, I don't believe in the end. Listen to this, then. Benny Jacobs, oi, Benny Jacobs, pool merchant, owns this magazine that he sends out to 500 perps, right? Now, Benny gets a tug and goes away. The magazine folds. Benny's cousin just happens to be Slimy Keith, who somehow manages to get his hands on the mailing list. Whoever's holding that mailing list has 500 latex purpose wanting him to send out what they need. Yeah, but what did you know about printing the magazine? Who mentioned anything about printing? We send out a sheet saying the magazine's starting up again, and it's a score for a year's subscription. Then we just take the money and run. If half of the punters apply, it's still 250, 20 quid, isn't it? What happens when they don't get their magazine? Well, I can't see 250 latex pervos screaming out for their money back, can you? Oh dear, anyway, we're just going to take the money and run. I'm going to use the uh, car park as an address, aren't I? So what do you reckon? Not a lot. But it's a big earner. Then do it. Right. Only count me out. Fair enough. Just have to rope into someone else, won't I? Question is, who? <laughs> 50p, Gav. You want your car washed? Yes, please. How you doing? Well, I never thought I'd see the day I'd be typing addresses to a load of weirdos and perverts. Good money, though, ain't it, doll? I don't know. I ain't seen any yet. You will, you will. Yeah, I've heard that before, I know. But this time it's going to be different. You don't really expect people to send you a load of uncrossed postal orders, do you? I mean, that's definitely suspect. Well, of course it is, if you're straight. Look, these people are going bananas because they ain't seen a bit dressed up in rubber for the last six months. That's how long this magazine's been up the road. They're going to be climbing up the trees. I don't do 
that an old today? I... Well, how could you do it up a tree? No, I meant... Just concentrate on the addresses. Mick! There. The headlights you ran it. It's all part of the service. You use this car park a lot, do you? No, man. Because uh, I'm always here. I'm the, uh, the manager. <sighs> Bring us another can of lager, though. Ain't you got legs? I'm just having a little sit down. That's all you ever do. Yeah, what do you know about archaeology? Well... You can catch it from toilet seats. What's in there? I don't know. I don't have a butcher's. Give us a hand. Some old ass bomb during the war. Come on, let's go. No, hang on. Might be something interesting down here. All these old cellars used to connect, didn't they? Well, if you want to visit a crappy old cellar, come round me mum's. Yours is a bit cleaner than this. You're missing the point, ain't you? You could buy anything down here. Like old money that's been hidden during the war. Who then, Bob? Who had money to buy in this part of the world? Well, that is the point, isn't it, you pill? Nobody's gonna think of looking for it down here, are they? God, stinks a bit. Told you it's a sewer. Can't be. What's that? It's all. Could be somebody who died in the war. Grave. He's standing in a grave! Becky! Hurry up, he's waiting! Was that you shouting? Yeah, I've been calling Jimmy! It was Mona! <laughs> Mr. Frobisher wants you! 
didn't tell him I was here, did ya? How could I? I didn't know myself till I see the boards up. Stick it back down, will you, Mick? He wants you to clean his van out. See what there now. All that you see from where you stand belongs to me, it is my land. I own it all, I own the lot. La 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 la. An office block. I own it all, I own the lot. I'm going to build an office block. Hey, Freddy, what was round here before it dropped his bombs on it, mate? Oh! Houses, James. All houses, here, everywhere. In Eastfield Street in times gone by, a bomb exploded and blew all high. I think I'll have another of your lager, James, if you don't mind me calling you by your formal names. He shouldn't be allowed on the streets. Nah, he's harmless. Hey, you got a torch at home? Yeah. You bring it in tomorrow? Why? Well, I'm going to carry on with me archaeology, ain't I? Jimmy, you're no rodent engineer. Come on. Cheers, Mike. Hey, you're in. Just a bit of dust. Find any treasure? Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Those old sellers could have been there for years. I mean, it's not a matter of old vases we're talking about now. He could be talking about old Roman coins. That's what he used to do from burying them in the ground. That's right, yeah. Yeah. In the cellar of some old doctor's family. Here, yeah, come on, it's dinner time and you're paying. Mona, no lunch. Taste in my mouth. Yeah, they're all a bit on the rough side, I suppose. Oh no, it's not this. You're licking all them stems. Look at what they put on them these days. I'm sure it don't do you no good. You could get postman's tongue. What's that? You get it from licking stamps. The tongue falls off. <laughs> oh, shut up. You put me right off this. Yeah, all of it. Get off! You're coming down tunnel tonight. What for? There's nothing down there. How do you know? Because there ain't. Well, you're going to be well sick if I find something, aren't you? Because I ain't going to share it with you. You won't find anything. All oh, right. When I find a big case of gold Roman coins, I'll ignore you, old son. Because I'll be walking around with big bundles of crisp blue five pound notes. He'd be just like him. He wouldn't give me a bean. We could be talking about thousands. See those? Yeah. Well, the question is, what are they stopping us from getting into? 
told you it's an old sewage outfall. It's dangerous here. Ah, no, it's all right. Yeah, I'll see. Might be something buried underneath here. It's gonna collapse. The roof's caving in. Of course it ain't. It's been here hundreds of years. It ain't gonna fall down on us now, is it? How you doing? Oh, hello. You all right? Well, I would be if it wasn't for Jimmy and this latex times business. He's getting involved in some right scatterbrained ideas lately. Yeah, that's him all right. I think I'm going to have to stop seeing him. I can't get roped into any more ideas. I've not got the strength for it. Yeah, SOS! Caving! He's buried alive! What's Vince is down the hole. This is great caving. The old roof just, just, just came down. Where is he, man? Over there. Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, no, Jimmy, you're too young to die. You had an accident. The roof caved in. Stupid prat. Bit of earth fell down, that's all. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to see what's on the other side. Did you know your job involved pot hole in the roof? You have to keep your eyes open in this one, eh? Right? Never know. It's around the corner. Yeah. It's a strong room, isn't it? It's a strong room with a bank! <laughs> now I know what a miner's wife feels like. Standing at the gates, listening for his name. <laughs> oh no, babe, oh no, it's all right. I've got you. I was under. I've been crying my eyes out for you and you're bleeding while alive. Oh, that's typical of you, isn't it, you unfeeling bug? Never a feeling for anyone. I'm going home. What did you say to her? Me? Nothing. I... Oh, there's a car at the barrier. I'll better go and see. It's the bank in the high street, isn't it? What bank? You know. I don't. The one next to the butchers, by the bookies. Oh, yeah. Come on, let's go and check it out. All right. Have a look on the map, eh? Here. It's me. to the ice street. Yeah, right. Well, we saw the bank vault down there, didn't we? Yeah. Well, there's your bank. Oh, come on. It's got 
o pe ala kita ini. Oh, you have finally cracked, man. <laughs> We're going through the bricks, straight in the strong room, and out for our only skate batch. And now you're going to get through the vault door, eh? Don't tell me. Jelly. Why not? Because the only jelly you know is the stuff that wobbles on plates. Well, we can read up on it. They put you away for robbing banks, Pincy. Yeah, but just think of it, eh? No more gyros, no more scratching <sighs> around with dross. This could set us up for life. Yeah, to put us away for life and all. Look. Just stick to the latex times, yeah? What if we just looked into it, eh? It might be easier than we think. Yeah, you're right. It's too big for us. What an opportunity, eh? We can walk straight into the bank. Don't even think about it. Can't afford to, can I? That means tears. I'll see one. I posted those letters. I wondered if you'd manage it. There's still another hundred to type. Yeah, well, by the time you've finished those, I'll have the money to pay for the stamps, won't I? Talking of money, I'm still waiting for my wages. I haven't forgotten. Well, I hope not. Bad enough being involved with those weirdos and their rubber wopsits without having to do it for free. You never give up, do you? Well, what would you do without me to nag at you? Love. Charming. Hey, Mick. Have a break, mate. So, you're honest now. So, what do you see in this tunnel, then? Not a lot. Come on, it must be something or you wouldn't be keeping it quiet. No. Nothing special. Now, what does he want? Morning. I have to talk to you. I'm listening. About the list. What about the list? Oh, this is hard for me, right? But I've been thinking and I just had to come and see you. Well, I mean, you got me in this position. I, I, I did try to explain, but you didn't want to know. What are you talking about? You know what it's like when you, you've had a drink <laughs> and you say things and you can't live up to them. Well, anyway, I bought back your money and I thought I'd give it to you and uh, explain before you sent any letters out and any harm had been done. Explain what? About the list. It's not what you think it is. Well, what is it? Well, it is. It is a list of the readers of the, the Latex Times. It better be. Yeah, but the, the Latex Times is a... Is a Straight magazine. Our company's just taking it over. It's read by people in the latex moulding trade. <laughs> I got a bit pissed and made it seem a bit more interesting. Well, you got me in this spot. I did try to explain, but you didn't listen. Don't hit me, Pincy. Don't hit ya. I'll kill ya. Well, I tried to explain. Slimy little creep. I'll kick you from here to Croydon. I oh, don't, Pincy, it'll hurt. I've sent the bleeding letters out, and I, you stupid prat. I spent over 300 quid on it. I'll pay you back, I promise. Oh, yeah, you'll pay me back. What you got on you? Just your 50. You owe me 250? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay you. Come here. You all hit me? Come here or I'll kick you. You've got a week to get me that money. 
I can't get that money in a week. Well, you're gonna have to, ain't you, my son? Or you're in for a good kicking. Get out of it! You owe me some of that. Ow. I was relying on getting some cash in, weren't I? A cash with her sister for the week, and I've got a few nights lined up. That needs cash in hand, right? You'll have more than a few tenors once you see what's down there now. Well, what is down there? Come with me and I'll show you. I'm not going down there with that roof. I don't care what's down now. Not until that roof's shored up. All right. We'll shore the roof up then. Why not? Miners do it all the time. Where's the timbers? Give me some wood. Where's the wood? Wood! 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 Give me some wood! 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 What's up with him? I think Where's he stepped the off the pavement. Oh, I knew he would one day. What's brought this on then? It's that latex list. It's a duffer. What do you mean? They're not pervos. They're just people in the latex trade. What do you mean? It's all been a waste of time? Where's all a waste wood? of time. Well, what about my money? Well, what about my money? Right, I'm not having this. He's going to pay out. Uh, Mona, I don't think this is a very good time to ask him, babe. I don't care about that. Well, you will if he chins you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll leave it till he's cooled down a bit, eh? What? Right! Right. Happy now? Yeah, yeah. sure, very happy. Follow me. What you found then? We'll find out soon enough. There you are. This is it. It's a very interesting brick wall. One thing you have to learn, Mike, or you don't, is whenever you find a brick wall, always find out what's behind it. But what's there then? Berlin? <laughs> Have a look. Yeah. What is it? It's a strong room. Oh, yeah. To be more precise, it is the strong room of the bank in the high street. Well, we could get through this in a minute. Correct. Over a week, Henry, we'll clean them out. Have the lot. Makes the latex times look like an afternoon with Darby and Joan, doesn't it? Oh, hang on, we can't do safe breaking. No, you're right. It's too big for us, but not too big for us to have a slice of. We're going to have to have a word with a man. We just walk into this bank, do we? <laughs> Why don't you come and have a look, eh, hey, Stretch? I mean, I wouldn't be if I weren't serious, would I? You got big ideas, man. <laughs> no, I ain't. That's why I'm here. I can't handle it. But you're a man who can. That is, I'm supposing you are. I can handle the bank. No trouble. Well, that's what I thought. So it's down to you. All I want is 10%. Of course, uh, if you can't handle it, I could go to somebody else on the manor. You saying I can't do a bank? Oh, I ain't saying nothing. I turn over banks all the time, don't I? Eh? Well, come and have a look then, eh? Okay. See what I mean? I'll show you where it is. Stretch, look, come here. I'll show you. There's the entrance to the tunnel there, right? Now it goes along there, round there, and straight up there, and there's the bank. Now, if we go in over a weekend, we can clean up. We are in the bitterman to open the vault. Oh, well, I'm sure I'm. Well, I'm sure a man of your standing, Stretch, will have half a dozen diner work for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. I know the man. So what do you reckon then? Well, I Shut up. We do the job. This Friday.
Something on your mind? No. No, no, nothing really. Hey, you don't know what a 34 is, dear pal? Yeah, see you, mate. Is it? <laughs> Have I delivered anything here before? Latex times, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> here you are then. Cheers. <laughs> Ever expected one of these? Dear sir, if you send me any more of your disgusting literature, I shall be forced to go to the police and prosecute. Wonder how many more of them I'm going to get. A few hundred, I reckon. What are you doing tonight? Go for a drink. With Chris? Yeah. Good. You'll be going back to the flat afterwards, I suppose? Probably is. What time would that be? I don't know. What are you on about? Nothing. You'll be going back to the flat, though, will you? Uh, maybe. Then again, maybe not. Good. Good. You always keep your options open. Because I've asked Mona to be there about 11. She'll wait for me. So, uh, what time are you coming back to the flat then, eh? Oh, about two in the morning. If anyone should happen to ask, uh, I was with you, Chris, and Mona till two in the morning, all right? Cheers, mate. Anyone like who? Anybody. The law. They ask. He don't stand a chance, man. Look, it's too big. I know. That's why someone else is doing it. Who? Stretch. Ah, oh, what does he know about banks? Enough to get in a professional Peterman. <sighs> Listen, my man. Look, they could put you away for a long time, you know. It's all been organised, so there's no point in you going on about it. Okay. Only I don't want anything to do with it, right? I'm only asking for a bit of cover. You're not going to get involved. It's the insurance. Come on, you do it for an old pal. Oh, come on, I'll never ask you a favour again. So everybody understand what you're doing, eh? Yeah. Okay. My man here has come out of retirement, especially for me. When we get in the bank, he's the boss. Now, to do things proper, we can't afford variables. So just get on with the job, efficient, and we're out. So, no talking. Understood? Show the way. Ow. Over here. Oh! Find me plates! Oh! Come on, carry on, carry on. Keep the 
noise down. You're up. Go on, Horace. Should do. Cost me fifty pounds. I'll be one of them clever ones. No exposed alarms. even see a lock. What does that mean? Well, it could be one of them new ones. You can only unlock it with a laser beam. Did we bring the laser beam with us? Where can we get all of the laser? <laughs> There's no time for that. We'll have to use the old ways. Bring the oxy. It'll take us all night and we'll get through. Let's have the oxy. They keep dead pigs in the bank for. Likely to go to local constabulary, am I? I'm not talking about them. I'm saying I've got a reputation to keep up. We don't want anyone to know what's happening here. I ain't gonna have my mouth, am I? Just make sure you don't. The cost me money too. You have to pay me back. Oh, leave there, stretch. You know I ain't got a bean. I take your burn. Oh, no, not again. Bring it to my club, eh? Not the wheel stretch. Not the company wheels. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, trip it. Yeah, hey, well this will cheer you up. I just don't think it's the dozen pork chops in the van. <laughs> Here we are then. Finest English pork chops. Off my face, Beck. I think I've lost my appetite. I'm starving. That's hanging about for you, that is. All right, don't start. Where you been anyway? Out. Where? Just out. Uh, you went to get the uh, chops. Why'd you get pork chops this time of night? Great deal of difficulty.
Put on the abrupt side, didn't you, James? Yeah, well, you know how quick things move in business, and uh, I'll be made an offer I can't refuse, as they say. Oh, yeah, fair enough. You other fish to fry. Sorry to see you go, son. You're just getting along very nicely. Yeah, well, I must crack on, mate. Time to go. The parting's sad. Nice to meet you. Bet you're glad. <laughs> Enough. Can I help you, officer? Is this number 34? Yes, that's right, sir. You the owner? I am, sir. Definitely I am. The prerogative owner in statute law freehold. You ever seen this before? You latex times. It's a bit on the filthy side, isn't it? The thing is, it's got your address here to send replies to. How did that get there? You do realise it's an offence to send obscene publications through the post, don't you? Well, I... We've had complaints. It's got nothing to do with me, officer. Look, it's your address, Chief, and you're the owner. So you better come along to Limehouse with me and we'll sort it out there. No! A great hole in my cell. The freezer's empty, and there's a trail of meat that leads right away to here. Here. Here's one of my pork chops. I don't know anything about his pork, officer. You don't know much about much, do you? No, I don't. Come on, down to Limehouse, you. Yeah, you better come as well. You can't do this to an innocent yeah, all right, man. All right, it's wrongful right. arrest, and I'll sue you when I can. In a car, Pop. I hate cars. They go too fast, they rest too quick, and never last. Just in the car. Oh. No. Yeah, Matt, a bit of fish rank going. Joke, joke. <laughs> <laughs> drive, drive. The sun sets on the tails, another day comes to an end. We've got the night ahead and in the morning. Is it just another day? Or oh, will prospects find a way on the grown and city streets hoping for tomorrow? In the city, filled on dreams, a broken smile, a magazine, the daytime man on the radio, the Ram Star is. We're working for tomorrow. 